If you have got an iPhone, then you know that Apple's provide you only 5 GB of cloud storage via iCloud, which is good for storing some notes, documents, and keychain passwords. But it is certainly not good to store your photos, videos, and other files. Basically, you can back up some important files like your notes, messages, Safari data, and some other app data. If you want to back up your photos and videos, then you won't be able to do it on free storage plan. And you can always change your storage plan to get more storage on your iCloud, but that will cost you some money. Now, if you want, you can create a backup of your iPhone on your PC. In case anything happens to your iPhone, you can always restore your iPhone from the backup. For that, you need to connect your iPhone to the PC via lightning cable and after that, you will get a flash message on your iPhone. Trust this computer. Tap on trust. And then provide your iPhone's password. Once it is connected to the PC, let's go on the PC screen. And first thing you need to do on your computer, whether it is Windows 10 or Windows 11, you need to install iTunes. You can do it from Microsoft Store or you can download it manually. If you want, you can go to Microsoft Store and search for iTunes and then install it from there. I have already installed it, so I won't install again. Now, if you want, you can manually install iTunes from the Apple's website as well. So simply search for iTunes download and then go to this link. I will provide this link in video description as well. And from there, you can download the correct version for your PC. For Windows 10 and Windows 11, you can download the Windows 10 64-bit version. And after that, you have to install the iTunes. Installation is pretty easy. You just have to follow the on-screen instruction. And then you have to open the iTunes app. For the first time, you have to log in to the iTunes via your Apple ID. So provide your Apple ID and password and then sign in. You may have to verify your device. So provide the verification code. And after that, it is saying that if I want to update the iPhone, let's skip it. And then iTunes will synchronize your iPhone and you will get this device icon beside music option. You have to click on it. If you are not getting this device icon, that means your iPhone is not connected to your computer. You just have to restart your iPhone and restart your computer and check and then click on that device icon. And then you will get some basic information about your iPhone and the backups option in the summary tab. You have two options to backup iCloud and this computer. So we want to use this computer to backup our iPhone and you can also encrypt the backup. And you can also access the backup option from the file and then devices and then backup. And you will get same screen. So we want to use this computer for backup. So let's select this computer and encrypt the local backup so that we can save our password, health and home kit data. If you want to encrypt the local backup, you have to provide a password. So create a password and remember this password. Just write it somewhere so that you can remember this password. Now click on set password and then it will create a backup of your iPhone and encrypt it. So it will take some time depending on the data on your iPhone. So you have to wait till the process is complete. And you can also use iTunes to update or restore your iPhone. Update option will update the iOS version. And the restore option will restore your iPhone to the factory setting or from the backup. And you have options to manually create a backup of your iPhone on your computer or you can restore your iPhone from the backup as well. So these are the options you will get on the iTunes. Now if you are wondering where your backup files are saved then you will find your backup by going to this PC, local disk C and users folder and then your username, open this folder and then Apple folder. Go inside mobile sync and backup. So these are your iPhone's backup files but you won't be able to read them because these files are encrypted. Even if you don't encrypt your backup using a password, you still won't be able to read these files. Certainly there are some ways, there are some software to read your backup files. In case if you lose your iPhone, you can read your backup as well. And I will cover that in another video. 
now on itunes you have some other options if you go to edit option then preferences and then device option you can delete your backup from here as well you can delete your backup or reset sync history so this is how you can create a backup of your iphone on your windows computers this will ensure that in case you lose your iphone data then you can restore your iphone from the backup icloud is a good option to backup your iphone but that is a costly affair so you can create a backup of your iphone on your pc and that's all for this video guys hope this helped if so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe also press the bell icon to get notified about new videos and i will see you in my next video